it's the fall. It's 100 degrees outside. <laughs> Apparently, we had an earthquake about 30 minutes ago from what I read. Really? Really? So, okay. <laughs> it's all falling it apart. Is, it is all falling apart in fall. It's so hot. <sighs> I'm regretting my hair journey now. My, my long hair is now misery. Yeah. It was fun, and now it is no longer fun. Right up in a man bun, maybe. It'll probably go in a man bun at the end of the review. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep it short. We're, we're doing a Mark Polona movie. Mark and Anthony Polona movie. Oh, like d dynamic du duo. Dynamic duo. We're doing, if you can see it, we brought out the big screen. House Squatch <laughs> at 100, or no, in 110 minutes. I was like, I was like looking at the hour ten the movie is. It's like it's 110 minutes. It is not. It is a uh, a 70 minute movie, which we're pretty uh, pretty excited about. House Squatch. Breezy, breezy movie. Breezy movie. We're just gonna cut right through it. But um, yeah, we're get, once again taking a little 1981 break uh, because all the remaining 1981 movies are over two hours. For 1981 is going to be a grind. It's. <laughs> <laughs> now it's like I feel like I watch a three hour movie and it's like oh. No big deal. But then it's just like that is just slow yeah. story pacing, which two is good. Hours, two hours of just solid, yeah, solid and just like pacing. acting, which is good. But man, you're just gonna be sitting there going, "Okay, yeah, are we almost is, done?" This is a lot of story. <laughs> so we're gonna watch Mark Polona on the big screen. We broke it out like 120 inches. You know, worthy, worthy of all every inch of the I, floor. Oh, 100 percent on 100 inch screen. Like, I, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> All right, uh, join us for House Squatch, review after, enjoy. All right, see you, see, you on this, uh, see you on the other side. See you on the other side, there we go. <laughs> it's too hot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know what they say, yeah. John, if you have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all. <clears throat> well, that was fun. All right. That was post-apocalyptic. <laughs> don't forget to watch. <laughs> um, wow. Okay, uh, first of all, we beasties. We beast a little uh, roasted meat for the uh, roasted meat we saw. We <laughs> haven't had this one in a while. Too. Beastie apropos for the squash. Why is the smoky? I know I say this all the time. Probably say it. The smokies get sweeter. They do. I don't know what it is. Like the more like when we first opened We Beasties, it was like, oh yeah, there's that meat taste or whatever. Yeah. But like for some reason, I don't know if it's just the. I don't know how whiskey works, but it feels like it gets sweeter. But not in a good way. It's not, I mean, it's still smoky sweet. It's right. not like you're drinking, it's like, ooh, candy. This smoke, is fun. The smoke is still there, but yeah, it does get sweeter for sure. So we watched Mark and Anthony Polona's House Squatch, written by Aaron Drake. Yes. And Mark Polona, edited by Mark Polona. Um, locations by Alan Wyoming. I just like this. <laughs> we, we did watch that. That is true. We did watch it. Um, I can confirm. Yeah, John was sitting right next to me, yeah. sadly. <laughs> that, uh, we can confirm that we watched um, the the House Squatch. Um, we love the Polona. We do. We've been watching them since Sharkenstein days and, and the old teacher's set. Uh, just <laughs> eating our, our back in the day pre-pandemic when we get our free lunch because oh, we were working. That was pretty sweet, though. It was a pretty sweet deal. Oh, yeah. my God. That show was so great. Just... You know, either, uh, what was it, um, you know, we get our sweet greens, or tender greens, what? or Mendocino, or, uh, what, what was the, uh, what was the taco place that we liked, the, um, what's it? Trejo's. Trejo's Tacos, pop on a, pop on a Polona, just, yeah. our day would be great. Totally. We even, we even went one time and Trejo showed up, he was there. Yeah, and it's so weird, because it's like, oh, he's little. Yeah, and he's yeah. also old too. He's like seventy-two or something, which is insane. Wow, isn't that crazy? Uh, really? Yeah, I think he's like seventy-one or something like that, which wow, is insane. I didn't know that. All right, so House Squatch is about a Sasquatch that lives in a house or something. Um, yeah, and he's well. We first he first comes onto the scene in his seemingly natural habitat, right? You know, in the in the woods, right? Somewhere. Somewhere. Well, I mean, this is in Pennsylvania, so right. I, mean, I sort of grew up in a similar time. It's funny, the um, prevalence of, the prevalent the aluminum siding on mm -hmm. the house, it just took me back. Like, we had that, and I was like, oh, because here, I, you don't see that. No. But it's just, 
here it was just like front row, <laughs> you know, front center. And I was just like, wow, this is a different kind of, like I, we live in a sort of different yeah. um, uh, aesthetic here. Right. But um, that's, that's sort of, I don't know why, it just sort of stood out to me. But there's woods, I say it to say there's woods everywhere. Right. So, um, so naturally, like he lives in the woods, I guess. Mm -hmm. You would think a Sasquatch lives in the woods. Yeah. He comes out, okay, fine. But then, I guess this is a type of Sasquatch that's a, not a Sasquatch, but a house squatch. House squatch, which they say a couple times, which I appreciate. It, it, right, and it sort of finds its way to a specific house. Mm -hmm. And- um, For no reason. Yeah, we, we never <laughs> right. find out, but we know backstories of other things that have no <laughs> bearing on the story at all. Story. Story. Um, yeah, so I, I, you know, the setup, Rob pointed out many times, is like way out of water. Uh, the whole movie sort of edited out of water. I don't know if that was a Mark thing. Or right. He was trying to disorient people, but, you know, um, you know, you were playing puzzle and sort of putting things yeah, it, together. Yeah, because there were a few times where we'd, we'd see a scene, then we'd come back, and it felt like that was the beginning of the scene that we were in the middle of, but not in a flashback Tarantino type of way where we're telling the right. story in different parts. Where it was like, feel like they just went, oh, let's put it in all order. But uh, I think the thing that, like once again, I told John a couple times, my anxiety level in this movie was so high because the music doesn't stop. It's comedic style music. Yeah. And it just kept going and going and I'm like oh my god what is happening and then uh, yeah you start off there's the two women which is actually a dude in a mask with where you can see his beard but there's no reason why we never explain like yeah I was I think I turned to you I was like what, why is why is she yeah wearing the mask it, there was no reason and then it was like I think it was the guy maybe that was Tim Hatch I don't know, because there's like the name we didn't know, because obviously the, the, the main yeah. players are in there, like uh, Kirkendall and Titus Himmelberger. But right. then there was like, and uh, Ken Van Sant, I believe, is the, the sheriff. Ah, yeah, yeah. Um, but then the first name that pops up is Tim Hatch, and we're like, oh, maybe that's the, the guy playing the Sasquatch. But maybe that was the other guy, the guy that was the sheriff. Yeah, there was yeah, another, the, yeah, yeah, it's the, the first The doctor that also did the aut autopsy, and then, <laughs> <laughs> you know, so the, the you know, doctor, right? um, but it looked like it was just him with the mask on. So like there was that scene in the beginning where they're talking to each yeah. other. So it's like, but why? Like I would get it if it was day of shooting because I know they crank these things out and the other uh, woman they had to play that part didn't show up and they were just like, dude, just put this mask on and we'll write it in. But if not, then like what's the comedy behind it if not. Yeah, I mean, but it just sounds like what you just said, it, it ha happened. That's what... Trying to it, logically yeah. put the puzzle <laughs> together, like, this is the reason why. Um, and I think, like, I think my biggest problem, it's not even a problem, it's just my biggest issue with the movie was that it was trying to be funny, yeah. and that's usually where it falls flat. That's what's so great about, like, the Sharkenstein or Jurassic Shark or... Um, any of the other um, Amityville movies he's done is that they're funny because they're straight. So like, right. that's what, like even, um, what is it, Empire of the Planet of the Apes or whatever the other one, or even Sand, or what was it, uh, Dune World. You know, all the ones we've seen. All the, like, you, you get the enjoyment out of them is the camp fact that like, this guy is making these movies with his friends. They're fun to watch. They're an hour and 10 minutes. Right. But because comedy is so hard that I would rather have it played straight. Like literally just, even like, because lines like, this isn't a regular Sasquatch, it's a house Sasquatch. I would laugh, but because it's wrapped in a comedy, it doesn't seem funny, it feels forced. Right. And, and yeah. yeah, exactly. And I think that the hokey sort of, you know, wacky music tried to, you know, yeah. oh, let me lighten this up. We, we, you know, the Sasquatch, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, House Squatch is, uh, <laughs> is, is murdering people. Yeah. So it's like, no, but it's fun. Like, it's a fun kind of horror. Yeah. 
daytime horror thing. Um, so, I mean, I get that that's why we're trying to do it, but it's like the wall-to-wall -wall music. Yeah. Um, yeah, the fart jokes, I mean, were just all throughout this thing. And it was like... None, none paid off. No. Like, I would, I'd be okay if one or two paid off, or I'd be like, okay, that's what you're doing. But it was just, and then towards the end, it was almost like, I'm going all in. You know, like you have dead Titus uh, Himmelberger, and then they were just like, we're just going to make him fart for two minutes straight. Yeah. And it's like, but why? Yeah, it's like, it just gets tired um, quickly. I mean, but, yeah. you know, many people fart in this movie. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a thing. But yeah, you're either farting or driving in the white truck. Driving, yeah. That's it. Those are the two things a you do. A lot of getting into the truck. <laughs> Dri pulling out or backing yeah. in or driving or this is all I'll either getting that. in getting out or driving that's it like that is 25 percent of this movie yeah. is that white truck a lot of a lot of filler a lot of filler here um, except at the end when they walk away not in the white truck yeah just so the first time <laughs> do you think that that was um sort of visually to orient us to being used to the truck yeah and then at the end, yeah. they just pulled the rug out you know, from under. Yeah, exactly. Oh, they thought we were going to be in the truck, no, but we're not. Does that <laughs> scene seem freeing in a way? No, it's, it's, I don't know. Maybe the truck had to be back to the rental. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Guy couldn't show up that day. It's like, no, I, I need my truck today. Oh, damn it. All right. Well, we only have one scene left to shoot. So we'll just shoot it without the truck. Exactly. Um, I think you you you, you 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 touch on that being said, like you touched on why you watch these because yeah. he's making movies, making uh, films, mm -hmm. and and you know we we are in the industry as well. So um, and he's making them with his friends, yeah. and um, there's something charming and something that speaks to us when you know you can go out and just shoot yeah. something, put it together. And putting it out there. Huh. Um, love that. Yeah. But it's like certain <laughs> certain things are just like like just just story. Like yeah. it doesn't it always should be, you know, in these cases it always should be some basic story. Yeah. That's all we need. Just a basic story. But you know, when there are times when you see scenes out of water and you yeah. s continuously see them out of water. Uh, as far as like the editing, well. it is 106 degrees, <laughs> so there's going to be fire trucks if you hear them. I mean, it's it's brutal out right now. Yeah, no, just 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 sort of like the pieces of the puzzle out of order in in a specific scene, and you continue to to see that. It is frustrating, and you know, I know the anxiety was sky high. And I don't know that why music. It yeah. was just like what is happening what are we doing it's just like there's always choices that these characters make where you're just like why yeah like the mask right i was like why you know and i remember going in my head i was like i'll when we get a break i'll ask rob like what is the mask and you were like i don't <laughs> i don't know i'm like how that's a Big choice for yeah. us not to know. Right. And we see the beard. Okay, if we see the beard, yeah. how come she doesn't see the beard? Right. Um, and why can't it just be a dude? Like, say say, say we go with my theory, which could be completely wrong. Hey, f hit me up. I'll, I'll, I'll answer your questions. Uh, so you have someone who's supposed to be there because it's supposed to be these two friends that are women. And then all of a sudden one can't show up. Things happen. And it's like, well, we'll just have so-and-so stand in. Um, and maybe it is the same guy. Maybe they couldn't do that. But just get someone else. Is James Coolius unavailable? Like, just make it a dude. Right. Make it someone else. Like, them being two women had nothing to do with the story. Nothing. It literally was about them getting them to get to the house to be murdered. That's it. They didn't play any role. There was no coming up to the end. The, the mask plays no effect in the movie. Like, I think that's what it is. Because we're so used to it, nothing pays off. So we, we watch these things going, all right, well, that's going to pay off later. Or that's going to mean something later. And then when it doesn't, it's more frustrating. It's like, right. so you're just doing it to do it. So, like, why? Like, why have the guy pretend to be a woman for no story point at all? 
Like, there's no reason for it. And that's not the yeah. reveal at the end where it's like, normally you would sit there and, you know, you think it's a woman. And then all of a sudden, because maybe they cast someone that looked very, you know, form fitting or something, but had the mask on, they can't take the mask off and it's a dude. And it's like, oh my God, I was shocked to right. find out it was a dude. Clearly, I saw the beard. It'd be me wearing the mask with this thing hanging out. It's like, no, I'm a chick. It's like, yeah, but I can see your goatee. It's like <laughs> Lizzie or whatever the name yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think with these movies, I sort of come to expect choices being made for no reason. Yeah. I mean, it is still, still frustrating because it's like <laughs> you are accustomed to watching movies where people make choices and there are um, payoffs or there's yeah. a reason why um, you know in a non Mark Polonia film if that were to happen mm -hmm. you know it would it would bother you, you yeah know, if you were like well why was that in there so it's definitely gonna bother you here it's just um, I've come to expect you know when I see the mask I go yeah that's not gonna pay off at all you this know? is just gonna make me angry later that yeah. it doesn't pay off <laughs> right, and when I see that there are footprints made of uh, construction paper or whatever, um, and they of like cartoonish feet, um, it's like okay, that's and then they just they play that straight though. It's like yeah, huh, footprints, and that probably goes to what you're saying. It's like okay, so they are to believe that these. Footprints. footprints are not real but like of a of a house squatch or right and it's like i i don't i mean it's something out of like my mom when she was teaching elementary school something she would have made right you know and it was like yeah i think that's what it is it's like the fact that i think they set out to make it a comedy so they're just like oh, what's ridiculous it's like all right here are cutouts of feet like, this is, like, what we're going to say are the right. footprints of the house squatch. But, like, why? Like, I mean, I get the comedy. Of, I get the idea of the comedy. But when you're also scoring the music, I would rather have it played straight. Like, yeah. it, have the music a little more ominous. Like, you know, it doesn't have to be, you know, John Carpenter and the synth or something. But if you see the tracks in the ground going, looks like house squatch tracks. Great. I'm in. Like, I'll buy it. Like, I buy it. But then they just kept going back to it. And and it was still the same four. That's what made me laugh. It was just yeah, like, they was only the had same, four. They yeah. didn't have more. It was just those four. <laughs> they could make more. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I think, you know, this this probably would have been better straight than trying to go for the comedy. Because going for the comedy, you'd have to do a lot more stuff. Like, you would have maybe this the house watch in the kitchen, you know, with an apron on making, like, pancakes or something. Something where why wasn't it? They yeah. did the Benny Hill stuff, like with yeah. the, the speed up. It's like, why didn't we just establish that that Sasquatch wants to live in a house and is cooking and doing stuff? Like, make it a house squatch, right? Like, and then, but even though it was like Benny Hilling and and moving kind of weird, yeah, and, you know, it still was a murderous beast. Yeah, so it was like. And the people didn't die particularly funny. I mean, they tried to add the fart stuff, but yeah. they didn't, you know, it wasn't like crazy, like a uh, uh, parody of a sort of Tarantino right. kind of right. funny killing. Um, but it's just like, <clears throat> excuse me, it was, you know, let's make, you know, make sure that, you know, the thing just kills people. Yeah. But then, like, while you know we see the dead or while they're getting murdered you know play this like hokey music and it's like that way people know it is kind of yeah light and funny and comic it's like not comical it's like uh, it didn't it didn't really work i mean it's one of those things that um you know music does work a lot mm -hmm. um for making movies obviously but you know, uh, it seemed like a post sort of thing where you yeah. just go. <sighs> Imagine if the, I don't know if the music wasn't there. I don't know if they watched a cut without the music right. and then go, oh, well, I just sort of need something. And he puts that that music one place and then, right? You know, throughout. And it know. doesn't stop though. I mean, it is an hour.
hour and ten minutes of it's, music. It's got that music, and it's just that's anxiety, right? It's anxiety. It was just like it was just like, and it kept just being. I was like, okay, something's gonna happen. Something's gonna happen. I'm just like, oh my god, I don't, I don't know why. And it's like I normally like I've ton of John. I just watch Black Phone, and it was just like I had less stress and anxiety watching Black Phone <laughs> the whole time watching this guy. What is going on? Like, why is this guy supposedly supposed to be a woman? Why is he wearing a mask? Why do I see the beard? Why is everyone farting? Why is it killing but not doing anything? Where are the bodies? Like, what's going on? Like, there's just so many things. It's like, why is his arm broken? It's like, maybe that it doesn't mean anything. No, let's do flashbacks of arm wrestling 30 years ago, but it still hurts. (laughs) What are we doing? (laughs) It still hurts bad. Yeah. Like, I think that... uh, I don't know. They're just like, oh, I think what it is, it's like... I love that he's... I love that they make movies. That's all I, I care about. Like, in the end, it still comes down to... Make 10 of these a year. I will watch right. all of these every time and enjoy them and and we'll critique them because it's fun and the movies are a blast. But it still comes down to like sometimes it's choices. Some are great. Like Sharkenstein was great. Like, yeah, we were like, great. These are literally people making a movie. And yes, that's an, um, you know, a, a fake shark. We get that. Or that's stock footage. I'm totally okay with all of that. Right. But it has to be right in the right tone. And I think if this was just played seriously, because everyone felt, uh, not everyone, a lot of people in different movies. Like I thought, uh, we both agreed, Titus Himmelberger fucking crushed it in this movie. He, he was- He went all in. Until it's all the farting stuff at the end, but that's not him that was posted yeah, up. But that's like, not, yeah. But his performance was... was tight in this movie. He I was, thought it was great. He just didn't, he didn't veer from what he was, he was committed. He was right. committed to do that character, so he didn't veer from that at all. Uh, Jeff Kirkendall, who we love, I thought he was really good because he was playing it the way he plays it in most of the movies, which is more straightforward. And I would have loved, I would have loved the joke of it being a house watch to hit more in a non-comedy version because he kept correcting him, no, this is a house squatch. It's funny because it's stupid. Right. But because you're playing this comedic m- music, everyone's in sort of supposed to be in on the joke, you know? Right. Yeah, he's he's him playing it straight. He's more of a you know with his look and everything. He's he can he can handle the whole. I mean, it's gonna come out funny, right? Know, when when he says, you know, these lines straight. Yeah. Oh no, it's a, it's a house squatch, and he was, you know, um, it may seem you know, <laughs> well, it was a little more subdued than uh, Titus, mm-hmm. but. Um, he went all in too. Like yeah. he was, you know, he was pretty solid. And you can't. I mean, you just. I mean, once again, we haven't watched one of these where Kirkendall wasn't the best part of the movie. But this was the first time I would definitely say it was him and Titus for being the best part of the movie. Oh, one hundred percent. Because Titus is really good. There was that one um, we watched. It also was sort of out of order too. Um, oh God, what was it? it? Was like one of the first ones we watched. Yeah, that was like three years ago. I don't remember it now. It's the one with the um, where he was an <laughs> alcoholic, and it literally said bourbon on the bottle. And I made a joke about that. Um, I'll put I, it up. I, I don't remember the yeah, name. Yeah, I don't of remember, it. but yes. But like, he was it. really good. But he was playing it a little, um, a little more straightforward. And he had that amazing beard, which is great. But like this, I loved his like performance in this one though, because it was yeah. just so weird and over the top. But then this whole sub story of the arm wrestling with the broken arm that still kind of hurt, but it was also 30 years ago. And it was like, okay, once again, once you start thinking of logic, it takes you out. Like, I don't, like it could have just been like, his arm was so badly hurt from this event. Or right. don't mention it at all. That the arm wrestling thing had no point in the story. He could have just had a broken arm. It looked aesthetically funny. Him having a broken arm with that comically huge cigar right. with the mirrored glasses and a cane make that his character make that who he is i don't well, need I mean, a backstory yeah it, it was was who he was but you know the i still don't know i mean the, so the arm getting to logic yeah, so the arm broke 35 years ago but it's still in a uh sling. yeah yeah it was that damaged <laughs> while going over the top you know <laughs> yeah i mean overall still fun because once again we watch it as you can see we watch it on the gigantic screen right it's you know, seventy hey, it's, it's minutes. A lot, a lot better. I just think it's it's more fun to watch it. I mean, as most things are, but 
to watch it on the big screen. Like I did like a lot of the weird stuff because there's a shot early on where the house squatches outside and he's just doing this. Yeah, I kind of wanted more that. of that. See, now just that me weird stuff. If you just did more of that, or if he was a little weirder, because right. it was that, and then the Benny Hill sort of sped up footage. Yeah. But outside of that, you know, it's not enough for us to just see him in the the obvious mass. You're right. Because we we know that that's. Not only do we know that that's going to be, but in previous uh, movies, it's been like cut out of the eyes right. in real eyes. Like you see the face, yeah. Yeah, someone's, you know, the real actor's eyes. But this one just had the whole mask, and that's just not, it's just not funny enough, you know? Right. If, if the, the thing was doing more. Right. You know, house watch, you know, he's doing home duties, or he's right. doing like home duties. He's doing domestic stuff, you know. So he's like, um, it's a funny kind of thing, but it's just not. It's just he's killing people. I don't even know why. Yeah. You know, there's plenty of homes in the neighborhood. Why just this? Why this house? Right, and that's why. Once again, we were sort of not fixing it, just rewriting it because it's easy to it's easy to play Monday morning quarterback. It's always easy to fix something that's already been done, but like it should have started off with a flashback of that house with the house squatch and then you know you have kirk and all and uh, ken van sant uh, the sheriff and i don't remember their names but it, whatever Je anytime we see jeff kirk and it's like it's kirk and yeah. doesn't matter what his name is anymore he's, <laughs> he's now kirk and kirk and and uh ken van sant said they defeated in 86. i don't know why they put such a huge gap of time it should just yeah. been five ten years like it's back but a younger version of them defeating the house squatch or running out of that house and then the house and then the house watch wants to come back right. and live back in the house so that's why they have to team up again to get rid of the house squatch or something but like and i think that's why it sort of felt out of order like we never knew where we were or why or anything and it's like why did the house squatch now maybe yeah, should, why why today yeah. like why not kill the people in the house we cut to a little time. Now the house is for sale and the house watch is either living somewhere in the house and they can't sell it. And and then these two women show up and start roasting hot dogs in front of a fireplace for no reason. For no, oh, the fake fireplace, yeah. <laughs> and it was on that, like the pitchfork or something. Yeah, why? Like the house was functioning. The There's lights and all. Just like the, the, the microwave. John pointed out the microwave worked. <laughs> they may have even been living in there. The, the, the owners of the house, it was like, it's a working <laughs> microwave. The oven Someone's was paying these bills. <laughs> I, I have no idea why. That, other than let's have this weird scene with uh, yeah. pitchfork and hot dogs by fake fire. And then sure. her in a mask. Right. The, roasting them. There was no... Those are the frustrating parts. Yeah. I think those are the only parts that get me mad. Like when I watch these, right. it's just like, there's no reason, just, how about this? There isn't a friend or that person doesn't show up. Like, oh, the other person that was supposed to show up isn't here. Great. You're the only person right. in this scene now. And now you're going to crash at this house. You're going to eat something. The house watch is going to kill you. There was no reason to have two and there was no reason to have two murders. Like you could have just had one person. Like if that person didn't, I love the theories that we assume right. someone didn't show up. But, and if it was written that this person was supposed to be a female, but it was a male, but then why? Like it doesn't play yeah, anything. It, they it die within first five yeah, to ten minutes. So, sorry at all. And then the the whole motif of the the trash and garage. I don't yeah. know whether it was a trash pickup or a garage sale. Yeah. Um, you know, because. I don't think it was um, Van Sant. It was who was the, the, the actor? The not the, the doc. It was yeah, the it was doctor. the uh, the uh, yeah. They got into the autopsy and the also sheriff, but not Ken Van Sant. Sheriff, the other sheriff, the other who sheriff. I think was the the girl in the right. mask <laughs> doing a lot of this. <laughs> and he, yeah, and he's like looking at the trash or something through the or the garage sale, right? Through the binoculars. Yeah, because in the beginning, after the helicopter shot, for some reason. Um, <laughs> of Baxter, that was actually Titus's name. Baxter was um, very good. Just may may or not be right. Talking about his housing development and everything, and then we go to the Ken Van Sant in the car, the truck that was basically the star. It should have had its own credit. White truck. Right. 
was talking about how to look out, he was making an announcement either to his fellow sheriffs or to everyone, because he was on the walkie, that it's gonna get kind of crazy because it's the annual trash pickup, but there's gonna be scavengers, which plays zero story until the old lady goes into the garage to grab something and gets her arm ripped off. But that could have just been some old lady in the garage. Like right. that had no like that had no bearing because I get it if they were filming, it was like a, a script point where hey, we're shooting this weekend and all our exteriors are gonna have all these trash in front of all these houses. We should explain it in the story, but to not have it play out in any way yeah. for no reason. Cause that was never like, oh, it looks like someone's been going through our stuff. Oh, it's the house squatch. But there was no reason to have that as a story point. No, it's just, just no payoff at all. It was just, you know, as aesthetically and visually, you know, to cut to trash all the time, it's just not, you know, not yeah. exciting. And then for the fact that that just has no payoff. Yeah. It's like, well, why, why would you put that in there? Because that's not even the motivation why the two women are walking through the town. Because there's, hey, keep an eye out for undesirables. They say that. I think he says that somewhere in his speech. But it's like, they even just talk about that they're cutting through town. They're not even going, hey, I hear there's going to be some good trash here. Maybe we can make some money. There's none for that. It's just literally they go come on, we need to keep walking, we can get through town. And they're like, I'm cold. Then they decide to go in the house. The trash has nothing to do with anything. <laughs> there's, there's no reason. And be aware, I might actually, because I'm not busy enough with work, and because <laughs> we're both on shows, like I have air dates. Our show airs in three weeks from whenever we're filming this. We still have yet to deliver, we don't have a main title. John's show is multi-country. Uh, like you're shooting currently in, we won't even say. How about that? We won't even say, but yeah. We're in other countries. John's in a yeah. couple different countries. Obviously, we work from home. But I think I am going to fan edit this. This. Oh, <laughs> no, I can't wait. To no, like, like, I think I just want to, even if it ends up being 30 minutes, make it a cohesive storyline. I'm taking but that music 30, out. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> take the, music, the music out. The first thing is to take the music out. Just to see, you know, less truck. To see less, more truck. <laughs> it's gonna be thirty more, minutes. All truck. truck is what I'm saying. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing sort of in order. I mean, it'd be yeah. at least yeah. yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll throw in a couple ADR lines. I'll change the music, cutting out all the farts. Turn it may be short, and what I'll do is I'll put it up on. Um, <laughs> I have a Vimeo account. I'll put it up on Vimeo, nice. and then uh, I'll put a link somewhere. <laughs> Terrifying screams. Yeah, terrifying screams. It's just going to be nothing. It's just going to be like 30 minutes of the <laughs> house watch dancing outside. Then <laughs> the, the truck like pulling a out. GIF, like a 30 minute gif of this. Then just they walk to the truck, GIF. cut to the thing, walk to the truck. Oh, cut to I, <laughs> people will be like, what are we watching? <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> All right. So obviously, not our favorite. Not our, Mark, fa not our favorite. Uh, Mark Polona. There have been better. There have been better. But a great t Titus performance. Like, yeah, I don't think I've seen him as nails go in like he did here. And maybe it was the glasses. Maybe it was the mirrored glasses brought something out. Maybe his arm up. Maybe well, he, he had playing. a whole suit and he had a yeah. whole he had a whole thing. You yeah, know, that that whatever cast. That he under like as the kids thing. say, he understood the assignment. Yeah, he was <laughs> he, he knew what movie he was in. He knew exactly what movie he was in. Um, Ken Van Sant seems to always play the same character in all these movies. He's always mm -hmm. either the sheriff or something so his performance was fine um I, i'll never say anything bad about kirk and all just to see him on the screen right. it's like makes me happy it's like mm -hmm. i know it i'm actually surprised there wasn't a uh a polona cameo like sometimes the, uh, like mark crocs right yeah oh right ken vincent wrote the crocs i forgot about that <sighs> <laughs> but i kind of liked it because it wasn't the joke right like that wasn't one of those things they made a joke of the crocs it was just wearing a wide going, is he wearing black Crocs? <laughs> I, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with it too. I mean, that's kind of why you watch it. Cause you know that that's gonna, you'll see those kinds of things. But when you specifically do something and, and then it just doesn't pay off. Right. Had that been the joke, it wouldn't have been good. Yeah. It's like, are you wearing Crocs? Like uh, an easy joke or something. But the fact that he was wearing Crocs yeah. made it even better. Exactly. But you don't need to reference it. You just have him wearing Crocs. That's it. And it will be, 99% less farts in my version. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, it was just like I'm I'm not at all averse to fart. I mean, of course, a, a good fart joke. 
But this is just like, okay, now you're competing with how much music is in here. There's like almost as much farts. And I'm like, this is crazy. But just battling, he's writing yeah. the levels in there. And it's like, I only have so many tracks to do this. <laughs> Like nine hours to render this out out of resolve because of just all the uh, the fart tracks that were going on, God. and the you know sixty five minutes of music from Ghost. I don't know what Ghost, ghost, ghost is. Ghost, a... Sure. <laughs> I don't know why I'm thinking I saw a Ghost. I don't want to use the word legit, but like as the composer for another thing that it was not Polony, but it oh. was like a. TV show or something? Oh, why does that sound? It does sound familiar? Maybe there's just they're similar in name because I imagine Ghost is just. Uh, yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure it's Kirkendall, and that's his. Yeah, it's probably just a person who doesn't want to be. I don't know. I hope it's Kirkendall, and that's his EDM. It's yeah. like, oh, I go out to Vegas. I am an EDM like DJ. Danger Mouse. It's just like Ghost. <laughs> he just puts on the, the gorilla head. He's, and he's like, I'm Ghost now. <laughs> he's waiting like for the drop. Ghost. <laughs> We progressively made this much better. We did. I, was like, I can't wait for this version. Cameo by Ghost. Oh. <laughs> oh, when are we going to get a Kirkendall cameo? Oh, we need, he needs to be. We need On cameo? For that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We liked House Squatch. It was fine. It was fine. It will always get us to enjoy taking a little break, 65 minutes of fun. Yeah. Or 70 minutes, but, you know, main title opening and end credits usually suck up your 10 minutes right there. Right. Yeah, and I must say, I, I just, <laughs> the whole movie is, it's not, I mean, it's obviously fall. Yeah. I mean, they beat you over the head with that. There's snow on the ground. Sometimes. Sometimes. And overcast. Overcast. Yeah. Yet, there's a line that guy's like, I hope I don't get sunburn out here. Yeah. I don't know why, but that's just me. It's a, it was such a bizarre ridiculous. line because it's like if it's snowing, which it was on him, it's like I hope I don't get frostbite. Like there's there were much easier right. things unless you stay into the script. And Polona's like script Nazi. Like no, you say my words. We we're supposed to shoot this in the summer. Now yeah. it's fall. <laughs> or these are my words. You do not right. change my words. <laughs> For precious words are precious. Words like, are, I get it. I get it. No improv on my set. It is the words are king on my right. set. Tight shift. I love it. I run a tight shift on our five day shoots. This is we are in and out of this car. And by five yeah. days, that's include shooting post. And yeah, and all five days. Yeah. Well, that was post apocalyptic show. That was House Squatch. That was House Squatch. Um, that was a fun. I th these are the ones like. It's fun to do these in between our regular series, which is sort of lacking a little bit of the 81 movies because right. I just like to see where we've come. Like, you know, we, yes, we've watched, you know, um, although Raggedy Man's coming up. Um, you know, we've watched Porky's. We've watched Serial. We've, you know, uh, we watched right. uh, Cereal, Don't right. Pick Up the Phone, you know, or Don't Answer the Phone. Of this time of movie making in the 80s, which was so different. And then... Um, or, you know, Underground Parking. Was it? Is that what the name was? Underground it? Aces? Underground Aces. That yeah. Aces. Aces. Um, <laughs> but just to see what people can do now. So it's like, yeah. it's, a, it's a fun dynamic to cut to what people are doing now, to what people were doing then. A studio system, a non-studio system. It's fun. Like, I have a blast with it. And, yeah. you know, when you have a projector, once again, it's not like I'm rolling bags. It was Amazon Dirt Cheap. My projector, meh.com Dirt Cheap. Blast. Nothing but fun. But great. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All great. I will post. I, I will maybe I will fan edit. I maybe I yeah. will just do a You'll little do, I'll do a little edit for fun just to, to see. I don't know why this one over any of the other ones, but this one I feel like you could reorganize some of the scenes, make it a little crazier. I think so. And, and just yeah, totally. kind of do something with it. Maybe I'll ADR line and just have the person with the mask. Maybe I'll change the whole narrative of that story. I like it. <laughs> do it. Do it. <laughs> 17 hours a day on it. I am working on this. It's like, why? Because I don't want to do my real job, which well, <laughs> consumes okay. most of my yeah. time. <laughs> All right. Thank you for uh, watching Post Apocalyptic yes. Show. Uh, we Beasties. Uh, yeah. I mean, you know, whiskey it's, makes everything it's better. It's sweeter. Yeah. It's sweeter because it's smoky. 
for They're, some hey, reason. They should, you should <laughs> get paid for that. Uh, follow us on the socials, comment. Uh, Mark, you're welcome anytime. Yes. Kirkendall, you are welcome anytime. Oh. Titus, anytime. Absolutely. It's a round table. We are round table. We will watch all your films, I think, which we already have. We will round table all your films. That would be an epic round table. Um, until next time, where we'll probably do Raggedy Man, which is our yep. October, September, October movie, um, when it's not 600 degrees here in LA. Uh, it is hot. Uh, thank you for watching, and yes, we'll see you next always. time. As always. See you guys. So hot. It's, it's hot. hot.